please sit down. Good afternoon. You are very welcome to Cardiff University and our 2023 graduation ceremony. I'm Heather Stevens, CBE, and I'm a pro-chancellor of the university. It's a real pleasure and a great privilege to be here today to celebrate this momentous occasion with each and every one of you. May I offer a very warm welcome to you, the class of 2023, and to all your family, friends and supporters and to our honorary fellows. It is great to see you all here today. We celebrate today your extraordinary achievements and I want to start off immediately with saying congratulations, Hongavakiadai. Acquiring a university education is no mean feat in itself. So well done to you all, not only for getting a place at this great University of Cardiff, but also for the hard work, dedication and commitment that you've shown to get you here at this ceremony today. This success is only part of your story. Many of you joined us as the full force of the pandemic was being felt. Others may have been here for a year or two already into their studies. But what we and you faced was a challenge on a level unprecedented in our lifetimes. Throughout this difficult period, you, our students, have been just wonderful. Thank you. You have shown patience, flexibility and understanding, as well as, well as a willingness, determination and tenacity to tackle whatever was put in front of you, including the pandemic. For this, you should be very proud of yourselves because everybody at Cardiff University is certainly very proud of you. For, yeah. Well done. <laughs> we survived, and we should always remember there were some, sadly, who didn't, but we are here today, and we should be grateful for that. We realise that for some of you, the uncertainty continues, but do not forget your ceremony today recognises all of the hard work you have put in and the culmination of your journey with us. You leave here today knowing that you are now part of a very special family, the Cardiff University alumni community. While you've been here, you have been taught by world-leading scholars, some of the brightest minds on the planet. And now it is your turn to take your learning out into the wider world and show what you can do. Your Cardiff qualification tells the world that you're ambitious, passionate, and have a brilliant mind. And you can embark on the next stage of your journey with all the confidence that your graduation here today brings. For some of you, it may be a little sad uh, today as you say goodbye to Cardiff. This bright, vibrant, colorful, and diverse city has been your home and the backdrop to your journey through university. However, some of you may have already decided to stay and call Cardiff home for the foreseeable future. We know the charm and character of Cardiff is difficult to give up, not to mention the weather. Uh, and for those of you staying, we welcome you to our city in this next stage of your life, whether for work or for further study. Either way, as you cross this stage, as you will, in a short while, and when you step foot outside the front door of this glorious auditorium, you will be doing so as a Cardiff graduate. Just a little tip. There's going to be a lot of doffing going on. Probably it's not something you've ever done in your life before. I recommend feeling for the height now of your mortarboard. It's, it's higher than you think. Is it not higher than you think? It is higher than you think. Let's see if we can get some good doffing going. It'll, be, it'll, it'll make it all the more worthwhile if you just can grab that hat with, with, with confidence. So, Cardiff University is always going to be your university, and wherever life takes you, we hope that you become a flag bearer for this great institution and carry forward our values of kindness and generosity of spirit. 
Stay in touch. Come back. Visit us often and share your experience of Cardiff University with the wider world. I just want to take a small moment to thank your family and friends for all coming here today. Uh, they're here to support you. And I know, family and friends, that when your own uh, youngster, as I've had three of mine go across stages, it will make their day even more special if you whoop and holler for them. So I'm expecting the parents to be giving a good showing this afternoon. Lots of loud and enthusiastic applause, so be ready. Um, but for now, please sit back, enjoy the ceremony, savour this moment. I hope we will add another special memory to the collection that you have grown over your time with us and your graduation will be something you can fondly look back on in years to come. Well done to you all. I now have the pleasure of introducing Hannah Pierce. Hannah is going to read the pro proclamation, teeth in, and a poem by Wales' inaugural national poet, Gwyneth Lewis. You almost all have seen Gwyneth's work before because it is her poem that is the, forms the six foot high words on the front of the Wales Millennium Centre. Literally the biggest poem in the world. Here in Cardiff. Gwyneth has been writer in residence at the University School of Physics and Astronomy and is now an honorary fellow. The poem Education was specially commissioned by Cardiff University and she is going to read it now. Hannah. Education by Gwyneth Lewis. Veithia, veithia. Gwellhad y wneud, mynna geisio, parchad weid. Traws newidiad fydd dy glod, dy ddyfodol, medro bod. Learning is a passport that returns you home a better person. It permits you to dare being daring, makes you secure with not knowing everything, helps you welcome some failure. Forges an alloy with others' thinking. It is simple to write in mind and its motions. Scintillates, but isn't deceptive. Amidst the joy of institutes, is the open road to everywhere but bigotry. It's the shortest distance between you and me, and if you're lucky, it never ends. I will now read the proclamation, first in Welsh and then in English. Nerth glad i gwybodaeth. Boyd hysbys i holl ei lod ar brifysgol ac ar hyd a lled y byd fod cynulliad o brifysgol cair dydd yn cael ei gynnal heddiw ym Mhrif Ddinas Cymru. Wrth athlu cyflawniadau rhai sydd yn os bar 2023 fe'i hatgoffon o'u cyfrifoldeb i gyfrannu i werthoedd y brifysgol hon. Nod iddynt hwy yw ceisio drwy y cyflawniadau wasanaethu er lles pawb, ymdrechu i sicrhau rhagoriaeth ym mhob peth ac yn boeni am ddyfodol ein byd. Gwrandewch yn awchus ar foethineb gan ei fod yn cynnig gobaith a gwirionedd ym mhob cenhedlaeth. Nerth gwlad i gwybodaeth, a nation's strength is in its learning. Let it be known to all members of the University and throughout the world that today, in the capital city of Wales, a congregation of Cardiff University is taking place. We celebrate the achievement of those in the class of 2023 and in doing so, remind them of their responsibility to share in the values of this University. It is for them to seek through their achievements to serve the common good, to strive for excellence on all things, and care for the future of our world. Be attentive to wisdom, for it offers hope and truth in every generation.
Brinhound Da, good afternoon. My name is Ashley Alava Garcia, and it is my honor to address you as the Vice President Heath Bar Campus 2022-2023 of Cardiff University Students' Union. May your care ever be for the good name of our university and the well-being of our world. When we embarked on our university journey, the years we had ahead seemed like a lifetime. I am sure most of you would agree that it feels like yesterday that we started a new chapter in our, in our lives. Saying goodbye to our friends and family, and feeling apprehensive about making new friends, fitting in, and commencing our academic journey at Cardiff. But what at the time felt like forever goes in the blink of an eye. And before you know it, you are sat in a cap and gown here at St. David's Hall, thinking about what the future may have in store. However, what we didn't know then is that we would be leaving Cardiff, having become part of a close-knit and supportive community. When we sat down to think about what made this university so special, the first thing that came to mind was the community that we have built. Our student community is like no other. Whether your time at Cardiff has been impacted by being part of society, a sports club, volunteering, spending time with your friends, spending long hours in the library, I'm sure mine was, or maybe overcoming barriers, whatever those might have been. You became part of a community that shaped your time here and a community that will, if you choose to let it, shape your time in the future. Being an alumni of Cardiff University opens you up to a network of fellow Cardiff students, some newly graduated and some who have gone on to achieve great things who can help you do the same. Whether it be by making the most of the rich alumni network Cardiff has to offer, by staying in contact with your friends and peers, by coming back to visit the place where you had the best years of your life. That community feeling that Cardiff has given you during your time as a student doesn't have to end today. It is something that you can take with you wherever you go. When thinking about this speech, a quote stuck to me. What matters in life is not what happens to you, but what you remember and how you remember it. No one could have anticipated the journey that all of you have taken to get here. But one thing is for sure. You can be proud that you are sat here graduating today as the class of 2023. I hope that you all remember how far you've come and how much you have achieved at Cardiff. It has been by no means an easy ride for you all, but it has been our diversity that has gotten us through adversity. So, whilst the future may look daunting now, remember this moment, take a deep breath, appreciate how far you've come and realize how far you can go. I hope you all go on to remember the journey that you've had at Cardiff fondly and keep those memories close to your heart. But most importantly, please remember, you will always have a home here in Cardiff. Deal. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Damien Walford Davis, and as Deputy Vice Chancellor of Cardiff University, I would now like to warmly welcome all students in the class of 2023. This is the part of the ceremony where students' names are read out by a senior member of the university. And Heather mentioned this just now. Please do celebrate the achievement of our students as they cross the stage. You can clap, you can, to use Heather's word, holler, you can cheer, you can maybe even do a little air doff if you get the height right. Once all the students from each group have crossed the stage and returned to their seats, I will then ask them to stand. And at that point in the ceremony and at other equivalent times, it's a tradition in this university for me to speak in Welsh to congratulate each group of students on their achievements. And the Welsh formula, the Welsh form of words I will use is aran abrivoskol meaning, on behalf of the university, I recognise your achievement with great pleasure. Many congratulations. And now, we'll proceed with the ceremony.
Prynhawn Da Croeso. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Nicola Innes and I'm the Head of School of Dentistry. I'm delighted to be here today to present to you the Class of 2023 from the School of Dentistry. Today is indeed a highlight event for the school and the university, and more so this year because of the challenges that we've faced over the last few years. You have been an absolutely fantastic year group, and you should be extremely proud of the hard work and the determination that you've shown during your time with us. You've all gained the knowledge and the skills, and you have the professional attitudes to enjoy a working life as a competent, trustworthy and caring dental professional. You only need to open any newsfeed to know how important oral health care is to our society today. And I know that you will play an essential part in delivering the care that the public needs. It has also been wonderful to see the staff and student activities that have increased over the last year or two. Some of you have been key in arranging quizzes and charity events for the whole school to enjoy. You've gone out to schools to educate children on brushing their teeth, encouraging them also to consider a future as a dental care professional. You've made us incredibly proud on open days, talking to potential dental professionals of tomorrow about studying at the school, and you've been involved in our food festivals, celebrating cultures across the world. You also successfully hosted the British Dental Students Association annual sports day in July 2022. This was hugely popular and you were delighted, just as we were, that you brought home the overall winner's trophy. Well done, we were so proud of you. You're truly an asset to our school and because of all of you, our school and university community has been enriched. You've inspired us, showing persistence, adaptability and strength of character. These are all attributes that will be of great help to you in your future careers. And we very much look forward to seeing what you all do next. Good luck and thank you, Class of 2023. I will now call each of you to the stage. I, Professor Nicola Innes, introduce those for the Diploma in Higher Education for the class of 2023. Kira Hodges. Charlotte Regina Alexander. Stephanie Ann Boyer. Yadoga Gajewska. Nicole Harrison, Florence Mary Lowder, Benjamin James Marriott, Chloe Mason, Sophia Price, Rebecca Elizabeth Reed. Amelia Keenan, Tasneen Wale, Emily Williams, Maisie Yardley, I, Professor Nicola Innes, introduce those for the degree of Bachelor of Science for the class of 2023. Amelia Sandra Ann Anderson. <laughs> Emma. Victoria Lorena Baker. Laura Bosaris. Laura Clegg. Rosa Cridali. Madeline Cropper, <laughs> Molly de Carteri, Georgina Oldfield, 
Olivia Bernice Granger Smith, Danielle Catherine Jones, Jessica Bethany Lee, Sharon McNamara, Agnes Magomo. Julianne Martini. Chalice Matthews. Elena Mitchell. Naima Omenu. Lillianne Scattersbrick. Anna Whitcomb, I, Professor Nicola Innes, introduce those for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery for the class of 2023. Ali Ahmed, <laughs> Nicole Ankaryan. Leonardo Aoyang, Zoe Bell, Fraser Bevan, Nathan Bowen, Rory Brown, Amanda Bryant, Josh Burns, Ying Yin Chen, Olivia Rose Critchley, Tunisia Daly, Ruby Dil Salar, Alexander Finn Eastman, Megan Catherine Ellis. Armin Etemagi, <laughs> Harry Evans, <laughs> Jamie Everett, <laughs> Ellie Ewing, <laughs> Maya Fahey, <laughs> Matthew Callum Fawcett. Megan Greenwood, <laughs> Wally Pack, <laughs> Alice Hater, <Hayter>, Anna Heaton, <laughs> Alice Elizabeth Hill, <laughs> Victoria Kitman Hilson, <laughs> Maxwell Hitchcock. Jack Lloyd Hughes, Emily Johnson, Neely Karen Joshi, Fiji Karmaidad, Elisa Khan, Amy Constant. Joan Lloyd, <laughs> Rosie Mae Bennett, <laughs> Keith McNeil, <laughs> Thomas Mark Nichols, <laughs> Stephen Thomas Oldfield, <laughs> Kenal Patel. Shivarni Patel, Dan Pearson, Ethan Peters, Lara Phillips, Ewan Price, Adam Rahman, Emily Carter Rear. 
Finian Rees. Monty Rees. Ellis Richards. James Willem Roberts. Abby Rodriguez. Timothy Ryan. Abia Sashteva. Kiran Saye. Fina Satyendran. Anushka Shah. Mizan Shamoan. Hiran Singh. Charlotte Story. Jack David Sulston. Maya Tamar. Sonali Tijura. Victoria Troll. Georgia Week. Olivia Walsh. Tanishi Warnapala. Peter Watts. Samuel Wheeler. Wong Wingyang Willis. The Deputy Vice-Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. Will all those students who have just crossed the stage please stand if you're able to. Ar an y brifysgol, rwy'n cydnabod i'ch cyrhaeddiad gyda phleser mawr. Llong gyfarchiadau li. Congratulations. Marianne, please be seated. Renowned uh, I'm Professor Steve Riley. I'm the head of the School of Medicine, and I'm delighted to be here today to present the class of 2023 from the School of Medicine. It's a highlight in the academic year for the school and for the university. We've spent several years in each other's company. Over that time, we've had highs and some lows as we've navigated our way through a pandemic and the day-to-day -day contours of academic life. Your time as a student has been completely different to any other year group. What I, want to, what, I, what I want to say today is that it's been a privilege to watch you grow into the soon-to-be graduates sitting here right now. How will you look back on these years? Well, I hope that it is with pride and smiles at the friendships that you have made. COVID has been part of your studies, but you've navigated that successfully. And I know that postgraduate studies offer a different perspective when compared to undergraduate. But here are a few of the things that I hope you'll take away from you from the School of Medicine uh, uh, during this time. The school is now 11th in the Complete University Guide of Medical Schools in the UK. This is a testament to the hard work of your tutors and to you as students in making Cardiff a great place to study. I hope that this reinforces the pride that you have had in studying at Cardiff University. 
our collaboration with Bangor University to ensure that students can undertake a medical degree in North Wales has been successful with our first group of students graduating this year. This demonstrates our commitment to the whole of Wales, directly addressing equity and access for students and communities. We have successfully introduced, with the support of the Students' Union, extra student space within the School of Medicine. This has been welcomed by all that have used this facility. And finally, we are expanding our CPD activity and making it more accessible for you, our graduates, to develop your career ambitions. These are some of the successive and achievements that we and you share from your time here. As you cross the stage today, you, may, you take with you your memories along with the lifelong friendships that you have made. You also take our thanks for shaping and enriching our school and the university and during this time with us. We've been inspired by you and your commitment to our values. Now we're delighted to see you go out into the world and make a positive impact on the places in which you'll live and work. The Ockham Vower Class of 2023, I will now hand over to Professor Ian Weeks, Pro-Vice-Chancellor Pro for the College of Bio Biomedical and Life Sciences, to call you all to the stage. I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the postgraduate certificate for the class of 2023. Jessamy Grace Rees. <laughs> Zing Shandy. <laughs> I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the postgraduate diploma for the class of 2023. Dr. Oliola Agielli. <laughs> Ms. Brenda and Jerry Chegui. <laughs> Anna Adelaide Pereira Gonzalez. Grace Hardy. <laughs> Thomas Heath. <laughs> Nelia Kumar. <laughs> Eddie Salam. <laughs> the hardest Morkel. Sara Nazir. Ruchira Ali. Catherine Ellen Owen. Sashin Patel. Elena Richards. Dr. Sandita Shetty. <laughs> Gayathri Subramanian. <laughs> Guzalia Suleimanova. <laughs> Julie Thompson. <laughs> Caroline Furlow. Jennifer Ann Walsh. <laughs> Maris Gwyneth Williams. <laughs> I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the degree of Master of Clinical Dentistry for the class of 2023. Priyanka Pumik. Saba Samadi. <laughs> I, 
I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the degree of Master of Dental Science for the class of 2023. Jacob Curtis. Sheila Karim Hassan. Aaron Kwase Kwong. Tommy Taylor. I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the degree of Master of Public Health for the class of 2023. Deborah Ajise. <laughs> Tia Talerio Akinbori. <laughs> Victoria Kikalomo Alabi. <laughs> Sean Brotherson. <laughs> Dr. Saksui Sunil Deshmukh. Shimin Fu. Amy Gamble. Isha Pravin Gaydam. Rowan Mark Hughes. Savannah Elizabeth Caroline King. Woo! Dr. Perfect Mabika. <laughs> Sanja Naya. <laughs> Alreen Nishat. <laughs> Salafa Noor Saeed. Sunidi Patil. Charlotte Peace. Surya Majori Seru. Iron Side. Madeleine Kate Smith. Anna Claire Thomas. <laughs> Surabi Vitil. <laughs> I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the degree of Master of Science for the class of 2023. Dr. Abil Amana. Hana Aka. <laughs> Shafat Mohammed E. Al Samu. <laughs> Nida Akta. <laughs> Justina Ayobola Akinwa. <laughs> Maria Mahmoud Zahir Alhina. Laram Almastadi, Ijoma Anyololoji, Sadie Ash, Abu Bakar Asim. Giselle Sarina Alia Montenegro. <laughs> Dr. Zriwa Aziz. <laughs> Sabrina Balizi. <laughs> Sarfak Bardwaj. 
Nashalina Treza. Chase Brown. Ruth Cummins. Natalie Cowan. Taylor Elizabeth Curtis. Toby John Albert Duff. Gabriel Giorgio. Alexandros Delinichalis. Samantha Louise Diamond. Martina Ego. Mohamed Ahmed Mohamed Al Deri. Catherine Bajmuki Enohoro. Laurie Fabian. Elizabeth Molly Ferris. Anthea Gabriel. Alia Galadari. Cressida Gauchin. Jordan Gibson. Harry Speedy. Claudia Francis Graves. Andrew Green. Thomas Dexter Green. Rebecca Harding. Georgina Harris. Dr. Erica Hartenreng Rojas. Safa Hassan. Sahid Hashim. Violet Louise Henderson. Alice Hodges. Sharon Hoyden Reese. Samantha Hunt. Anna Ingleby. Amy James. Oliver James. Sonia James. Ellis Jones. Laura Lewis. Aoife Juno. Ikra Khan. Dr. Asumani Kibanwa. Karen Paul Kiripab Morhan. Angela Roy Kaylee. Cameron Suellen Lewis. Gemma Michelle Lewis. Juliet Alicia Lewis. Wang Jing Yi Liao. George Sean Lush. Jenna McInnes. Susan Martin. Flavia Martins. 
Mathurin Masson. Etel Mateus. Tia McIntosh. Christine Elizabeth McKinney. Dr. Scott Thomas Mercer. Anna Mahilik. Kieran Millard. Maria Jane Nichols. Maria Euler. Sarah Hassan Osman. Dr. J. Panachai. Yada Prukratanana Appa. Taylor James Rains. Harikaya Ramasami. Amir Razak. Robert Ray. Ruth Rodley Batten. Chioma Namdi. Claire Russell Yard. Nuru Sayaz Rina. Catriona Seed. Nishma Shah. Mariam Shahid. Lisa Shitomi Jones. Elizabeth Smart. Astro Smith. Sandra Ousu Ansa Sowa. Catherine Grace Stansworth. Vishwa Sutaria. Dr. Hira Tariq. Robert George Taylor. Molly Toes. Agirios Chiantis. Lodana Maria Vassallo. Margaret Warren Perry. Yasmin Watkins. Kate Williams. Shaha Amasani. Daniel Williams Tully. Matthew Carl Wilson. Sing Ting Wong. I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those for the degree of Master of Philosophy for the class of 2023. Hannah Preston. The Deputy Vice-Chancellor will now confirm the achievement. Would all the students who have just crossed the stage please stand if you are able to.
ar an y brifysgol, rwy'n cydnabod eich cyrhaeddiad gyda phleser mawr. Llong y farchiadau li. Congratulations. You just got to wait. You just got to wait until the hollering stops. Don't you? <laughs> Be seated, please. Thank you. The following students to be presented have achieved a doctoral degree, and in recognition of their achievements and research, they will be presented to the presiding officers, who will doff to them in return. I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those who have received the Doctor of Medicine. Anthony James Downs. <laughs> Soraya Kaki. Nicola Reeves. I, Professor Ian Weeks, introduce those who have received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Emily Adair. Abdella Saad Alanazi. Aisha Mubarak Alanazi. Richard Ebenezer Olubayo Ali. Sarah Elizabeth Argent. Grace Bailey. Keris Ballard. Emily Bates. Ross Burton. <laughs> Emma Barbara Lewis Campbell. <laughs> Anna Caragosa. Bethan Rose Carter. Karen Crawford. Tabitha Kenrith. Daniela Filippa de Oliveira Costa. Annette Evans. Andrew Fennick. Andy. 
Andrea Marianne Garden. Asma Yaya Gazwani. Anastasia Gatsapuru. Mark Gurney. Jack Hales. Kylie Hart. Anna Hendry. Matthew Hicks. Usma Basit Khan. Yue and Lu. Francesca Ines Mazzacchi. <laughs> Katrina Elizabeth Jane McMurrin. <laughs> Morin Ni Will. <laughs> Jack Redaway. Sophie Gabrielle Reed. Freya May Sadler. Katie Sedgwick. Stephanie Shaw. Elena Simonazzi. <laughs> Katie Thompson. <laughs> Carolina Cavellu Tost. <laughs> Anzalika Trinka. Isabella Rachel Wilcox. <laughs> Wenya Shui. <laughs> Zhang Wang Zhen. The Deputy Vice-Chancellor will now confer the award. Before I do so, that must be the youngest doctorate we've ever given out. <laughs> That's great to see. Will all the students who have just crossed the stage please stand if they're able to? At Anna Brifysgol, rwy'n cydnabod eich cyrhaeddiad gyda phleser mawr, llong of archiadau li. Congratulations. Please be seated. Could I ask all those students that have studied in any aspect of healthcare to please stand, if you're able, for the reading of the oath? Thank you.
I will now declare the oath, first in Welsh and then in English, and then I will ask you to agree to the terms of the oath. A thawaf mae the minoriaeth gyntaf fydd gofalu am fy nghleifion. Byddaf yn gredig gyda phob claf ac yn drechaf i gyfathrebu yn effeithron gyda nhw. Byddaf yn parchu urddas a'u preifatroedd a'u hawl i gyfrannu'n llawn at benderfyniadau ynglyn a'u gofal. Byddaf yn onest ac yn dibynadwy bob amser ac yn parchu a diogelu gwybodaeth gyfrinachol. Ni fydd fy nghydawau personol yn amharu ar ofal fy nghleifion. Trwy gydnabod cyfyngiad i fy nghymwysedd, byddaf bob amser yn diweddaru fy nghybodaeth am sgiliau proffesiynol. Os bydd gennyf reswm da i gredu nad wyf ddi neu gydweithiwr yn addas i weithio, byddaf yn gweithredu'n gyflym i ddiogeri gleifion rhag perygl. Ni fyddaf yn camddefnyddio fy sefyllfa proffesiynol, a byddaf yn gweithio gyda chydweithwyr yn y ffordd orau er lles y cleifion. Yn yr holl faterion hyn, ni fyddaf byth yn gwahaniaethu'n anheg yn edrych yn cleifion na'n cydweithwyr, a byddaf yn barod i gyfiwn hai fy ngweithredoedd iddynt ym mhob achos. Rhoedd y fyrddewid yma ar fy llw yn wyrfoddol ac o ddiffri. I promise that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. I will be considerate to all my patients and will strive to communicate effectively with them. I will respect my patients' dignity and autonomy and their right to be fully involved in decisions about their care. At all times, I will be honest and trustworthy, respecting and protecting confidential information. My personal beliefs will not prejudice my care of patients. Recognising the limits of my competence, I will keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. If I believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice, I will act quickly to protect patients from risk. I will not abuse my professional position and will work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients. I will never discriminate unfairly against patients or colleagues, and I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. I make this promise solemnly, freely, and upon my honour. If you agree to the terms of the oath, say, I do. Thank you. Please be seated. Prenanda Bau. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Professor Rudolf Allemann. I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor of International and Student Recruitment and the head of the College for Physical Sciences and Engineering. We now come to the part of this afternoon's uh, proceedings that celebrates distinguished people for outstanding contributions within their field to society and also to Cardiff, Wales, and the world. Today's honorary fellow is Professor Kachavivi. Professor Kachavivi has dedicated his life to so social justice, education, good governance, and democracy. Through diplomatic activity, he has built international support for his country and his African neighbors. Peter Kachavivi was born in Okahanja in Southwest Africa, which at the time was under South African administration before Southwest Africa won independence as the Republic of Namibia in 1990. He attended primary school in Windhoek and then the Augustinium Secondary School in Okahanja. Professor Kachavivi went to the government school Umuaya in Nigeria before studying history, law and political science at the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Professor Kachavivi has always understood the power of education. 
It was indeed at high school that he first became inspired to fight for the independence of his country. At the time, the people of Namibia shared with the people of South Africa the experience of a racist apartheid system. From an early age, Peter Kachevivi has believed in the power of ideas, the cause of social justice, and in building a bright future for the people of Namibia. Shortly after leaving school, he joined the South West Africa People's Organization, SWAPO. Inspired by a network of nationalist thinkers across the continent, Peter Kachavivi went on to play a prominent role in the struggle to liberate Namibia from the yoke of occupation. The 70s found him in the UK, an activist in exile. He built support for SWAPO in Western Europe and focused international attention on the fight for independence and self-determination. Upon his return from exile, he was instrumental in writing the constitution for a newly independent Namibia. He was profoundly aware that the constitution needed to inspire hope and provide reassurance for the nation he was dedicated to serving. He was elected to be a member of the first Namibian parliament. Of course, a young nation needs a young generation with the power and opportunity to build a strong and a united future. And so, in 1992, Peter Kachavivi left politics to become the founding vice-chancellor of the University of Namibia. He transformed a previously segregated academic institution into a national university accessible to all Namibians. In 2010, Professor Kachavivi returned to Parliament. He was elected government chief whip and then speaker of the National Assembly. As a politician, he had a particular interest in strengthening civil society to enhance good governance and democracy. He is known for embodying his belief that one must serve one's country and its people with honesty and with sincerity. As he once said, the moral fiber of a human has to go beyond the standard when one becomes a political leader. As a distinguished professor of history, Professor Kachavivi has published extensively. In his history of resistance in Namibia, he states in the preface, and I quote, Namibia is one of Africa's least known countries. To some is the former German Southwest Africa, to others a unique case in international law. It is the last African country still fighting for independence from European rule and it suffers a unique form of domination, occupation by South Africa. In no small part, thanks to Peter Kachavivi, Namibia has now seen more than 30 years of democracy, peace and social justice. It is considered one of the most stable and indeed safest countries of the, American, of the African continent. Today, people of Namibia determine their destiny themselves freely. Namibia has two excellent universities and an outstanding medical school. Professor Kachavivi remains steadfast in his belief of the importance of higher education. He is the Chancellor of, N of the Namibia University of Science and Technology. He is also a champion of our own relationship with the University of Namibia. It has been nine years since Cardiff University signed a partnership with UNAM. Since then, we have seen the positive impact of our work together across healthcare, engineering, the IT infrastructure, and recently safe energy, especially green hydrogen, and much more. Peter Kachavivi is a politician and a diplomat, but he is also an educator. He has dedicated his public service to providing opportunities for future generations in this country and far beyond. It is my great honor to present him to you to become an honorary fellow today. I will now present this distinguished individual who is to be awarded an honorary fellowship of Cardiff University.
I will now confer the award in Welsh. Trwy'r awdurdod a roddwyd i mi gan y cyngor, derbyniaf chi fel cymrawd er anrhydedd Prifysgol Cardir. Llongor chiadau, congratulations. Thank you. The word thank you, I think, is not adequate to describe how I feel. Respected Chancellor of the Cardiff University, Professor Colin Riordan, the President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Cardiff, members of the Cardiff University Honorary Fellowship Committee, distinguished members of the University Council, dedicated staff of the university, members of the Students' Council, honored graduate students, invited guests, esteemed members of the media. Greetings to you all from Namibia. Today I stand before you with gratitude and pride as I accept the esteemed 2023 Honorary Fellowship from the Cardiff University. I extend my deepest appreciation to the University and its Honorary Fellowship Committee for acknowledging my endeavors in elevating higher education in Namibia and bolstering societal welfare. As a young country at the time when we became independent, we felt the need to empower our people through education. Reflecting upon our journey, the seats of partnership between the University of Namibia and Cardiff University were sown in the 1990s. Over the years, this relationship matured and developed to an extent that we can say it flourished, serving as a, a beacon of international cooperation and exchange. Exchange in terms of partnership at the staff level, as well as involving our students from both universities. Our nation has greatly benefited from the knowledge and experience of Cardiff University graduates and postgraduate that have really contributed positively towards Namibia's developmental agenda. In the wake of Namibia's independence in 1990s, we embarked on a mission to establish a national university of international repute. Our focus at that time was to provide, to, to make higher education accessible, devising a sustainable funding model for the sector, and ensuring our universities are responding positively to Namibia's uh, social and economic development needs. It was during these transformative times that we sought to broaden our academic and research agenda, leading to, rewarding, to a rewarding relationship with Cardiff University, among others. 
You heard about Namibia during those years. It was a very isolated fifth province of South Africa, but hidden away, inaccessible, and for that reason, we needed to reach out to the rest of the world to develop programs that will un enable us to network and to develop a meaningful partnership with the rest of the world. These bonds have been instrumental in shaping our academic programs and research efforts. The staff and research student exchange programs initiated then have integral to our capacity building programs to help shape the kind of manpower that is needed for a developing country. Standing here today, I'm reminded of memorable dinner that we had in Venduk way back, basically talking about networking, how to develop the linkages between Cardiff and UNAM. Like most things start from a very humble beginning, and you build on that until you reach a point where you can say, we have arrived. President Nyerere of Tanzania used to say, um, nothing starts with 100%, but it depends on the rest of us with the commitment and with the purpose that we can build on that to a point that we can reach that level of 100%. So I'm extremely proud of the fact that the dream of yesteryears had been totally been transformed. Today, that dream is a reality. Our shared expertise has given rise to the first ever graduates in clinical education in our MIPIA. We talk about a medical school that started from a very humble beginning, today serving the developmental needs of our country. Our collective efforts have enhanced training of nurses, even in the most remote parts of our country. We have worked together on language communication strategies and adopted innovative, impactful tools to make education engaging and effective. Yet, our relationship extends beyond, beyond academia. The cultural exchange has fostered lasting friendship between Namibians and Welsh, connecting staff and students and as well as involving ordinary citizens across the oceans and time zones. We have also adopted, um, adopted uh, strategies that have given us the ability to add value to the development of the country in terms of looking at issues relating to global challenges like climate change and strive towards zero emissions, our cooperation has become extremely you know, critical and crucial in our overall de developmental agenda. So that humble beginning has given us hope and set us on course to add a great value to the development of our country. To conclude, I dedicate this prestigious honor to my late wife, Rosemary Jane Kachavivi, a pillar of unwavering support in my journey of life. She was a British-born woman who impressed Namibia as her own, and our work towards nation building was a shared passion. Let this award stand as a testament to our combined efforts and as a beacon of hope 
for the future of collaborations between our two countries. I cannot tell you how much what this means to me personally as I'm moving towards the end of my career as a parliamentarian, as a speaker, and basically this to me is so important. Thank you and thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Kachibibi. I would just like to say in reply that we, the university, are very honoured and deeply pleased to have our relationship with yourself and with Windhoek and with Namibia. And thank you again for coming to speak to us. <laughs> so, here we are. Everyone's been across the stage. Fantastic shoes, by the way. I'm not sure if you paid for them yourselves or got your parents to, but there are some crackers out there, and that was just the guys. Um, so, congratulations. You are now part of the Cardiff University alumni community of over 210,000 graduates. Cardiff alumni are great global citizens. Some are activists and have high profiles. Some are quiet, well-informed contributors to their communities. You will find your own path, but I know you will make a difference. Cardiff has given you more than just a degree. You've been encouraged to ask questions, challenge conventional wisdom, and you have shown willingness, determination and spiritedness, and you have withstood the worst of the Welsh weather. Well done, all of you. The real hallmarks of a Cardiff University graduate. The Welsh word hiraith is made for moments like this. It contains, conveys a sense of place, of love, of longing, of memories. We hope you will keep hiraith in your hearts for Cardiff University. Now, before we close the ceremony, there is one last Cardiff University tradition to uphold. Today has been all about your achievement, but I think each of you will know it's not something you have done on your own. You've been supported by your family, your friends, by the staff of your departments throughout your degree. So, good bit now. Can I ask all the new graduates to stand? Everyone in the hall has made a lot of noise for you and it's actually been a cracking ceremony, so well done. It's your turn, spot where your parents, your friends are. I know some of them are behind me and some of them that way. I'm going to count to three, and then it's going to be your turn to make even more noise with some great drumming bits for I feel real noise has got to come from you all to say thank you to all the people who have helped get you through this degree. So, E, die, three. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. So to close our celebrations, do sit down again. There is going to be a film welcome, welcoming you to our Cardiff University alumni family. I will say a few words after, but enjoy the film. Take a look around you. Farewell, Ochi. What do you see? Class of 2023. Today we take stock of everything we've achieved and say thank you to those who always believed. So scroll through memories, come to selfies, get our besties and stand up straight for the photographer. Say cheers. Today we remember how we got this far, the late nights and bright lights and moments we didn't do as well as we might. Hold the viad kai, double bad hai, or with yon galed ir dapliadai. Today we're rewarded for all the hard work that started way back with the first steps we took. 
dropped at Taliban, Sing Hennig, Abadir, and Abad Conway, Igamo of Freshers, Hib Weaver Shavings, Hib Nabod Hobbin, Nes Canvas Trinjai Ois, and Nadi I Hope Katee. First dates? Soulmates. I'm gonna start crying at this rate. Today we're part of something that's hard to describe the new class of an old tribe. A tradition that'll be there our whole lives, a network that continues to help us thrive. Years from now, we'll see someone with a badge on their tie, or hear people on a bus shouting, Cheers, drive. And we'll remember where we came from, where we came into our own, where we made our mark. Canvod Capture, where we found a home. Today, we make noise like it's the varsity game and count ourselves lucky we found people the same interests, hobbies, be the whole modernist born in folly. People who tried to shelter us with broken brollies. People who helped us find our limits and push them out of the way. People who helped us get to this point. On this day. Today is a day we mark everything we've shared. A day we tell people just how much we cared. That they were always there, even when they couldn't be. Rather than we bought a day I ate our high love for all the long hours we've had to put in. We still had those nights that went right through till dawn, and days we dug deeper than ever before. So here's to those late night revisers and early risers, to sunny days that passed by in View Park, to that special someone who gave us that special spark and helped us to grow, to transform, to dream. Today's for that someone we're proud to have that in team. What happens tomorrow is whatever you choose. Go make news or break news that absolutely refuse to be told that can't be done because we've only just begun to make records and break records and make history and break history and say The mother me thee, this is the world I want to see. 10, 20, 3 days, 40. Years from now, you'll look back on today and realize you've been by your side the whole way. But right now, right here, let's savor the moment and say, Congratulations. Let's get the celebrations underway. Take a moment, look around you. Be well, what do you see? We're Cardiff University. Croesa, welcome to your alumni community. So, our ceremony now draws to a close. Thank you again for joining us today, and congratulations. Would you please stand as the platform party uh, leaves, but Diokenvar Hongavach Yadai. Thank you. <laughs>